Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to um, have this YouTube short just to kind of uh, discuss my latest project. Uh, right now I am working on um, a, a six part series on the history of the Buffalo Bills. Um, many of you are probably asking, Drew, you've never been to Buffalo. What inspires you about the Bills? Um, to kind of go over that, like it started in 2017 when the Bengals beat the Ravens to go to the playoffs. And just a response from Bills Nation and also a few of my really close friends I've had are from Buffalo and just talking to them, just the passion that the city of Buffalo has for their team and then doing some research over the history of the Buffalo Bills, I uh, was just fascinated and wanted to write a piece on the Bills. Um, I feel like my strength as a writer, I, am, I love telling stories and I feel like I can kind of tell a story from my words um, with a little bit of humor um, and also, I'm not going over every single game by game. It's not like an encyclopedia. It really is going over the big facts of the history of the Buffalo Bills. This part one will discuss about um, the uh, before the uh, Bills came into existence. There were several different leagues that bu the city of Buffalo had a team in. It really is kind of fascinating. Also, I talk, I talk about the Bills merging with the Browns to form one kind of super team that eventually had Jim Brown. It's really, really unique. You can actually uh, research that a little bit more if you like to Google it. I just kind of went into the fact that that happened. Um, also go into the Jack Kemp years and Lou Saban years of the 1960s when the Bills won their two back-to-back -back AFL championships. The heartbreak that uh, my wife's uh, Chiefs and Len Dawson gave to the Bills in 1966 when the Bills were going for their first ever um, trying to get the appearance in Super Bowl one. They were kind of the team of the AFL in the mid 60s. If you did not know that, it's kind of cool to uh, read this piece. I hope you enjoy it. I, um, please give me your honest feedback, what I can do better. I'm working on the rest of it right now. I'll probably have part two released probably early next week. Um, the first three parts will probably be released pretty quickly within the next seven, eight days. And then the last four parts, uh, last three parts, I'm sorry, will be released um, in August. Um, Please, yeah, give me your honest feedback. Um, that's all I got for today. Um, we'll be talking more when part two comes out. I'll probably have a lot more cool NFL stuff with golf season and NBA being done. Kind of a little bit of a, a slow season for um, for my YouTube channel, but I will be discussing this. Um, if you guys want to see any cool other cool stuff, just let me know. Um, but yeah, please follow me at DrewSports.com, Twitter at Stu Drew, Facebook Sports Stu with Drew. Um, I probably will be on the air tomorrow to take my punishment for getting the Bucks wrong. I did not expect Giannis to be like Superman in the NBA Finals. If he wasn't Superman, the Suns would have won the championship, and I would have been correct. Um, also, the Open Championship, I did better than I did in the PGA, but not quite as good as the U.S. Open. Hey, Brooks Kapka did give it all, all his might, but call him over Kawa. I was dead wrong on him. Yeah, who kicked, like, I guess you never really had to play a Lynx golf course to actually kick his butt, right? Paul Morikawa, he's a special young player. But anyways, um, thank you for always watching my channels. Y'all have yourselves a great weekend. Stay frosty out there. I know it's really hot wherever you're at. Here in Vegas, not too bad. Going to be in the 90s this weekend. I'm going to enjoy it. I might, I might actually have to go put out my car cap. Have a nice day, everyone.